All right, hey guys, this is that zero in video on the Watt Shine 180 LED light. Uh, just a quick overview of all of it. Um, it's a pretty intense light, very strong. Uh, you'll see my corals here. They do pretty well underneath of it with it turned down at its lowest setting. I only run it at about 5% on the white and maybe under 20% on the blue. Uh, it does very well on all of the different styles of coral from Galaxias to Zoes to a little brain up there some starry polyps down here so I don't have anything too too crazy yet my duster um, doesn't mind it he's been out full blast lately um, also pretty new f corals but um, I will tell you this little polyp center canner here uh, camera here was a starry polyp that I had started up here uh, and it was much more uh, to it. Um, it almost got cooked and killed from being up there. It was too strong, even with it turned all the way down. So uh, just keep that in mind. Uh, it will do really well. Um, as you see here, I've got it suspended about 10 inches off the tank uh, from the suspension thing it comes with. It only comes with from this hook down um, comes with two cables that I feel are relatively short to be honest if you're gonna do any kind of movement or suspension from a long area I had to add um, extension cords to them to reach down where I need it to uh, to get to my time uh, my timers and stuff on my my surge protectors and that's the other part you only get two settings uh, this is your blue side uh, dial controller with power on and off and then your power out no daisy chain ability uh, independent fan for this side and same thing on this side fan switch power control knob and power out uh, and that's really all you get with that uh, if you're doing a really big tank and you need some lights on a budget I got this for about a hundred bucks on uh, I think it was Amazon uh, and uh, it was the uh, 180, just basic version. You can even get them a little cheaper now. Matter of fact, I'll probably be listing mine soon. Um, but they are extremely, extremely strong. If you put probably, I'd say if I was had 125 gallon, I'd probably do three of them. Uh, versus a uh, 150, you could probably get away with two cleverly positioned. Uh, because these things are pretty pungent. They uh, not, they put out some light. And again, as you see, mine's turned all the way down. So I'll give you just a, a look at the tank with the lights off here. That's the blue off, just the white. Again, running only about 5%. Gonna go ahead and give an increase there. That's about 100% just white. I'll go back down to my 5%. And actually, before I do that, I'll show you. You can see a good reflection of the colors of just the white side and the other colors you get the spacing sorry about my dirty glass there guys um, but I'm going to turn that down that's all the way down and the fan only runs if, you get, if you've got it at turned above about 5 or 10 percent so just keep that in mind uh, I will tell you this well, heat wise this sucker puts off heat. Um, I'm in the Midwest. If you know anything about the Midwest right now, it's pretty cold. Uh, about 30 degrees outside. Um, see my blues there. I'm gonna kind of kick those up to where I normally keep them. Uh, you can check my blue light video out on those. But uh, it keeps it cold uh, and uh, outside. And uh, this tank, this light, is keeping my tank on its own at a nice 77 by itself. Uh, and that's with the top I had left it open uh, earlier. But normally if I keep that top closed, uh, it'll stay at 80 degrees in there with just that light. Uh, I don't have any heater on at all. Uh, so I don't necessarily re recommend that, but uh, it does work. So just keep that in mind. Um, again, this is the Watchshine 180. Uh, it's done fairly well. These corals are new. I will tell you that. I mean, you can tell by looking at my tank here. It's about a year old tank with uh, the corals about three to four weeks old. Uh, my anemone hates the light. It's way too strong for it. Uh, it hides in the back most of the time. 
uh, and does not want anything to do with the front of my tank, uh, which is part of the reason why I may switch it, um, is because it's been uh, hard to get in enemies to uh, host with that light because it's just so potent. Uh, and again, you're looking at my tank right now uh, with it at turned down almost to its minimum. So as you can see, it's a pretty strong spotlight there. And I, I do have it, you know, 10 inches or more suspended there. So, uh, and as you can see there, the lights there. I'll turn off the whites just so you can get one look at the blues just in there on their own. But So that's the Wash Shine 180. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to uh, hit me up. And I uh, hope it was helpful. Thanks.